Hello and welcome to lesson 21. This is lesson 21 and the title is Confessing the Word of God. Confessing the Word of God. You must have an habit of reading the Bible and confessing what the Bible says. When you read the Bible, the Bible is the thought of God. In Isaiah chapter 55, God says, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways my your uh, neither are my ways your ways. He said, as the heaven is far above the earth, so are my thoughts above your thoughts, and my ways above your ways. You see, the thoughts of God, the ways of God is higher than our thought. But we thank God Jesus Christ came to this world to show us the way. Jesus said in John chapter 14, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You see, anyone that walks by me will never be misled. You see, when you walk, when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are automatically taken to the realm of the thought of God and taken to the realm of the way of God. And the thought of God is the word of God. The word of God, the thought of God is expressed in his word. And the word of God is contained in the Bible. And that is why you need the Bible. You see, when you are going through difficult times, there are so many scriptures that teaches you what to speak and what to think and what to do. When you think you cannot do something, then you can quote Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. When you quote that word, the power to do things is going to come. When you are broke and there is no money, then you can speak the word of God in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 that says, My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You can also quote Psalm 23 verse 1 that says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. Then you can also quote some other scriptures. Maybe when you are feeling you know, sick and it's as if that sickness is going to claim your life, then you can quote the book of Psalm 118 verse 17 that says, I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. And if the sickness is there in your body, you can say by the stripes of Jesus I am healed. You know, in First Peter chapter 2, it says, by the stripes, verse 24, it says, by the stripes of Jesus, ye were healed. Hallelujah. You know, you can also quote some other scriptures. You can quote the Bible that says that Jesus Christ was made poor for my sake so that I can be made rich. That is in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. You can quote that scriptures and begin to say it. You can also declare that my God give me power to get wealth. That is in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Hallelujah. There are so many other you know, places you can quote. When you are feeling lonely and it's as if the whole world has rejected you, and um, you can just quote Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 and 6, that says, my God will never leave me nor forsake me. When you are feeling a need for help, and you believe God for help, you can say, I will look up unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord that made the heavens and the earth. That you can find in the book of Psalm 121 verse 1. And so many other scriptures that is going to help you in time of trouble. Even when you are going through difficulties that is so tough, you can quote Psalm 23 verse 4 and 5 that say, Even though I am walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because I know that my God is with me. His rod and his staff, they comfort me. God prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. When you quote scriptures, the power to overcome the problem will come from nowhere. You will be surprised how great you will do for, for yourself. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next lecture.